Chris, thank you. Michael Caputo was an advisor to Donald Trump's presidential campaign. He joins us now. Mr. Caputo, thank you for coming on. Thanks for inviting me. Um, so you've been interviewed by the in investigation, the Mueller investigation, is that correct? Yes, today at noon I, uh, I spent three hours with uh, uh, investigators in the uh, special counsel's office. What did you learn? I learned they're still looking at, uh, at Russian collusion. They're still looking for it. Uh, uh, while I wouldn't be asked about uh, charges of obstruction or asked about uh, you know, uh, financial crimes. I was there during the time when they believed that Russian collusion was initiated. That would be the only thing that they would ask me about. That certainly is the only thing we talked about. That's not the only thing you talked no, about. No, that is the only thing we talked about. I, in, in my mind, uh, if anybody thinks that Russian collusion is off the table, they they haven't visited with the Mueller team. Was there Russian collusion? Of course not. I mean, I think that they're looking down the avenues of all the evidence that they're putting together. They, I'll tell you, they know more about the Trump campaign than anybody that worked there. And they know more about what I did in 2016 than I do myself. Well, they, I hope so. They I really mean, they, do. They spent a lot of money and a lot of time looking they, into it. They have, so what are they looking at specifically? Like, what, what did you learn? Where do they think the collusion took place? I, I don't really want to interfere with the investigation. I was warned about that. Um, well, but, they warned you not to talk about it. Well, they warned me to be careful about interfering with with, with exercising your freedom of speech well, they're, they're not for that is that right i get that but my my attorneys I get that it's the center of our country i, I get that but I'm, I'm just saying my attorneys also asked me to be careful about this but i can tell you they're looking well, so they're at, threatening and intimidating you basically it sounds like i i they're i'm not, not going to be friending them on facebook today if that's what you're asking i, I don't find What's them it like to be very to live friendly in a people? country where having not been charged or convicted of any crime a prosecutor can threaten you to shut up in public it's it's not nice but i can tell you that it's it, it's nothing compared to the 125 Five thousand dollars in legal bills that I've stacked up for nothing. It's it's nothing compared to the death threats that my family and I are getting. It's nothing compared to the piece of a sniper rifle that came in the middle of my wife last month. It's nothing compared to the way that they're trashing my family. Uh, you know that what's happening to me and my family is happening to many other people in this investigation, and I'm just a witness. Uh, I can't imagine if somebody's a subject or a target what they're going to go through. But I, I can tell you this. Wait, can I just back up for one sure. sec? Since you just spoke to the investigators today, when they suggested in the way that the mafia suggests, maybe you shouldn't do that. What do you think the penalty would be if you ignored that suggestion? I don't think there would be any penalty, but I think I might be called back for a little visit. And I, every time I come to Washington for this bogus investigation, whether it's the Senate, the House, or whatever, uh, I get to pay another 20, 25 grand. So they just bankrupt you. That's n no big deal. Not just me. I think other people, too. I mean, a tin cup isn't a good look, but I've had to open a GoFundMe page. I mean, uh, this is, this is, I didn't. I certainly didn't sign up for this when I went to work for the Trump campaign, and I will never, ever work on another Republican campaign for as long as I live. I mean, there's, and I think that's part of this, Tucker. I think they, this is a punishment strategy. I think they want to destroy the president. They want to destroy his family. They want to destroy his businesses. They want to destroy his friends so that no billionaire in, let's say, 15 years wakes up and tells his wife, you know what, the country's broken and only I can fix it. His wife will say, are you crazy? Did you see what happened to Donald Trump and everybody around him? So that's what this is about. So they've inti so intimidated you. And again, they're not charging you with anything. There's no allegation that you committed a crime. But they've so intimidated you that you can't talk about your conversation on this show right now, and you're retiring from campaign politics forever. I'm, I'm never going to work on a Republican campaign again unless somebody legally indemnifies me. Clearly, these lawsuits after the fact are the new Democratic strategy. When you lose, you still win. Um, I'm never going. I don't think anybody should work on a Republican campaign again unless they're legally indemnified. I think if you do, you're crazy. Um, I, I'm. Be, you know, my legal fees are going to be at least 125000 That's more than I make in a year. That's more than where I live in East Aurora, New York. That's more than I, most people in my, in my town make. Um, and I don't know how we're going to pay that off, me and my family. Um, you know, but it, that, you know, that's Washington money. That's New York well, it's money. Well, it's disgusting. But let me, I, I can tell you this. Tell me that. We're almost out of time. I, I'm, uh, they're looking at WikiLeaks. They're looking at uh, uh, Guccifer. They're looking at, uh, you know, uh, DC leaks. Everything that you see in the media that's been leaked out there, that's certainly what they're looking at. And I think they're pretty focused on this. It's unbelievable. M Michael, thank you. Thank you.